13 inch MacBook Air Retina model A1932 years 2018 and 2019. System fan replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is completely shut down and flip it over. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. The back cover is secured with 10 pentalope screws. The top four are slightly different and the rest of the six are short. Go ahead and remove them and set them in a line so that you remember where they go. Once the screws are removed, lift up the MacBook. We'll need to pry apart the cover. It's clipped in. So with just a little bit of resistance, you should be able to pop it right off. Before we proceed, we need to pull the power on the battery. Go ahead and locate the battery connection. And with a plastic tool, gently pry in and push it out of its socket. Begin by gently lifting the lash on the audio jack cable. Go ahead and go underneath it and just pull it out. Now just unstick it from the fan. We'll need to remove three T4 screws that are guarding the cable with a bracket. Go ahead and remove the bracket. Now you can just trace it out and pop it out of its socket. Move it aside. Go ahead and disconnect that little power cable right there. Let's disconnect the left speaker by prying underneath it and just popping that out of its socket. Now remove one black T4 screw. Now we can go ahead and remove two T5 silver screws that are attaching the board. Go ahead and remove those, they're side by side. Now you can go ahead and lift up the board up and out of its socket. Go ahead and remove three T5 screws that are securing a fan. One on the right side, one on the left side. Peel back this little uh, tape, you can just rip it out. Remove the final and third fan screw. Now go ahead and disconnect the fan from the logic board. Lift up that eyelash, work that tape out of the way, expose it, and then just pull it out of its socket. Now we can lift up and remove the fan. Reassembly. Place the fan and work it into its socket. Go ahead and plug it into the logic board and click down that eyelash. Secure the three T5 screws, one on the right, one on the left, and then one on the bottom. Now go ahead and place back the audio board. Make sure you're not jamming any cables. Go ahead and click in that power cable. Click in the left speaker. Secure the two silver T5 screws. Now secure the black T4 screw. Go ahead and reconnect the main bridge cable. Place back the bracket. Secure the three T4 screws. Place back the little black piece. You can use double-sided tape to stick it on. Go ahead and replug in the data cable into the logic board. Click in that eyelash. Reconnect the battery power cable to the logic board by sliding it into its socket. Put back the cover and give it a nice firm push when you have it aligned so that it clicks in. Go ahead and put back the four screws. As you can see, the longest two go in the center and then the other ones go in each corner and then the shorter screws all go around the remainder of the contour of the Mac. This concludes the tutorial. Help support our content by subscribing.